it is up there with one of the hardest monster carps we've ever done. How many over 60 have you had, Dovey? Carp, 60 pounds. Oh, they're a nice little hug. I want to be part of that. That'll bleed well do, won't it? Yeah, boy. Well, here we go. Episode three, and as promised, we are in France. I'm literally driving off of the train now. Feels like a long time coming this. As you're watching this, you'll be, you know, a few of you will have done your first nights. This is gonna be my first night on the bank since the end of December. But we are here for Monster Carp. It's the season finale, series six, but I've got more pressing matters to worry about. I ain't got a hat. My hat drowned. Uh, at the end of, of the last episode. So that is my first port of call. We're gonna find the services and hopefully get myself a new app. Keep you posted, shall we? Here. I didn't expect a lot of choice, but I got far more choice than I'd have got back in England. Look at the days. Let's have a little look at that. What are you saying? I don't know if it's my colour or not. One of these is though. I don't know what to do. Black, beige, sand. Little bit of glittering. Get that for Al. I need, I need a mirror. What do you reckon? Look all right? They're too small. Got a big cranium, clearly. No. You need a new silly hat. Don't you have to cross you? I do, mate. Well, I might be forced into a decision with the only one that fits. Red only fits. I don't know, I don't know I'll pull off red. That's a bit more... Uh... Yeah, I can't pull off red. I can't pull off red. I think we have a winner. El Clasico Colours. We're back in the game. As is pretty much tradition, the first time we get to a lake, the first night, we don't get the rods out. We stick the bivvy up somewhere, have a little meet up. We haven't seen each other for such a long time. We have a little social, nice bit of food, get an early night and be up first light to have a look around the lake. Cannot wait to get started. We are in situ. I'm on my own here. I've got a lovely bit of water to myself and over my back you can see the point swim and that's where Dovey and Ali are both bivvied up. So they're gonna have a nice social week and I just get to spend time with a few of the boys uh, who help out on Monster Carp. Things have got off to a good start. Can't really say any more than that for now because it's not, it's not, not gonna be a prolific venue. We're gonna have to work for every single bite that we get but hopefully if I can start to get some, some regular action in this swim, I'll be able to at least give you a couple of sneak peeks. It's gonna be a good week. And as you join me now, I'm just having what should have been a nice bit of healthy porridge, but I've put about half a jar of peanut butter in. I'm gonna enjoy this and uh, we'll keep you updated as we go along. See you later.
Now I'm going to apologise now because compared to the last couple, this this episode of the vlog could feel really disjointed. It's re the first couple of days when you're doing a monster carp shoot is really intense. Sort of, you're trying to get into the groove of the lake. You're settling into your swim. You're getting your rigs ready for the first time. There's a lot of boat work here, so you spend a lot of time out on the water. That's as well as a load of other stuff going on in the background. So if it looks like it's jumping a couple of days at a time, it might do. We're going to do as much as we can to, to keep the story rolling for you. Um, but I know the first part of this uh, is going to look exactly like that. Incredibly busy, and you are going to miss certain bits, but they're the reasons why I can't really get around it. sneak peek there, be out any day. Well, I did hope to be able to show you a carp. It's not as big as anything I've had yet, so I'm safe to show it to you. So here's a sneak peek at a monster carp carp. That old bleeding world do, won't it? to it exactly where I hooked that carp from. I don't know what it is about being being out on the water is it's always exciting. It's not quite so exciting when you <laughs> it's not quite so exciting when your battery dies a lot of people. Make sure it is. Yeah, that's dying as well. Yeah, it's full on death, that is. Oh, Jesus behemoth. Luckily, I'm nowhere near this spot. Ben, can you bring us a jar of cell round? There was me being all carpy, getting out in, a, in me boats, me spot, and now I'm resorted to this. <laughs> getting back to the bank with a bowl. <laughs> oh, you got to laugh, haven't you? I'm laughing about it because it's on the most idyllic day on a relatively small lake. There's actually a big safety element here. I should have the oil with me. I should check my battery because if I was on a big windswept pit, I'd have had to just wait till I drifted in somewhere. That bowl would not have cut it. Right there, girl. She's tired. Very tired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez, mate. Run out. Just completely just died. You know, it warned me a couple of trips ago and I thought that'd be all right. <laughs> Just a, yeah, it weren't. There we go. See, a little bit of advice when you're going out in your boat, something I always do is make sure I carry a spare battery with me and that uh, uh, should the worst happen, I, I know that I'm covered. Yeah. bait around it, get me eye line and try and drive as straight as possible. Hopefully I'm fine.
absolutely gorgeous day today. It's felt like the first day of spring. It's probably been about 18 degrees, I reckon, but no wind. I haven't got much of a tan, because I never do, but it's been nice to, to not have a cold wind. It was a cold night, though. I, I reckon it was zero degrees last night, so it was a proper sharp frost this morning. Oh, sometimes it's crashed. Um, but we're just gonna tuck into a bit of dinner tonight. Thanks to Kurt, always looking after us. Um, and I got to see Dovey earlier. It's a bit weird having the other two away from me, but Dovey popped round, had a shower, first one in a couple of weeks. It is his birthday after all. Had a little beer, bit of dinner, and um, I'm sure we're, well, we're all hoping he gets, catches a carp on his birthday, but he's running out of time. Anyway, I'm gonna eat the rest of this and uh, give you another little update tomorrow. See ya. told you that the mornings were cold but look at this I got some bait out of the freezer last night and I might as well not have bothered because I think it's now literally more frozen than when I got it out and uh, I mentioned on the last vlog that due to the restrictions we had to get our bait rolled in Germany and sent to France because we couldn't bring over the quantities that are required for a, a monster carp shoot and there you go bait service bait service Straubing have rolled for us. We've got some cell in sort of hardened ones, different sizes. We've got 18, 20 mil, 24, and as you can see in the back there, let's bring that one forward. We've got essential cell as well, so a couple of different options. Real fruity, real bright, real attractive spring baits that we'd use anywhere in the world at this time of year, and so far, so good. incredibly cold at night but the days are utterly glorious it's going to go over 20 degrees today and if that doesn't get these fish moving quite literally I don't know what will Anyone ever told you that I'm Brad Pitt, Spooner? Many, many, yeah. many wonderful liars. Yeah. What you got for me? What a little looks like. It's like a flannel, you tell I'm dirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you need a little wash. Oh, Nikos. Thank you, brother. Probably that. Well, Look at that. It's one of the carp I caught. I just photoshopped your face on it. Can't actually yeah. tell you how big it is. I've not told anyone how big it is yet. Well, you know, you were there. So were you. But viewers, you would have to wait and see exactly how big that is. Lovely. Thank you, mate. Oh!
I've got to say, the last couple of days have been nothing short of really frustrating. Freezing cold nights, baking hot days, no bleeps on the alarms. I've been around the lake, around my bit of the lake, stalking, been on top of the fish with zigs in the edge. Just nothing, nothing is working. It is up there with one of the hardest monster carps we've ever done. It's certainly the most frustrating. I mean, sometimes when you're not on the fish, you can deal with it, but when you can see them every morning rolling over where exactly where you're fishing, you still can't instigate a bite. How's your head in? Look at that, boys. Nice little hug, I want to be part of that. He's going to be buzzing his old <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> Things I have to do for this show. Absolute joke. Clothing department, wardrobe, there we go. French spoons. Le Francois. <laughs> 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 Has been an outrageous little tour in here. I know it's spread out over a year or whatever, but how many over sixty have you had, Dubby? Carp, sixty pounds. <laughs> Last night, if this tour's anything to go by, anything can happen. If I had a drink, I'd cheers. Yeah, to cheers. That. cheers to the final cheers. night of the tour. Yeah, cheers. well done, lads. Loved cheers. it. Well Loved done. it. Amazing. Amazing. Impressive love. That is the end of this one. I'm just cleaning. One of the boats at Gravier's, I've made it dirty. Let's get it looking back in ship shape and Bristol fashion. If you like what you see on the vlog, like and subscribe the page. And the next one, you're gonna see us live at a brand new embryo water in the Colne Valley. Bloody carp, innit?